Hello, this is Inferno. I'm just going to be showing off uh, some of the UI uh, features real quick. Uh, first thing is that there's uh, really simple input fields that you can click on and type into. Um, I'm using a debug rendering for the text right now. The text will actually be larger and more uh, or less terrible later on. And uh, just showing some of the highlighting features and focus features, just to make sure you know all the simple stuff you want in a UI. Uh, here's some more text fields under the options menu, and uh, little tick boxes you can tick. All the stuff is done with the shader library in the engine, so you can do pretty much anything you want with these. I just have really basic crap images I'm using right now. <laughs> you can have crazy animated stuff and whatnot. Uh, creating the UI is pretty easy. It's a very simple fire file structure I created called .ui. Uh, I'll probably put up a uh, documentation on it later on how to use it. Also, want to point out uh, uses really simple alignment to keep everything on the screen regardless of the screen size. Uh, I think right here, I'm going to change the resolution and everything's going to stay relatively in the same place, just with a different resolution. I'm also going to add in scaling so that you can make things bigger and smaller uh, from the menu later on. Uh, right here. Do, do, do. Yeah, you can see the Games for Windows Live <laughs> uh, icon stays in the bottom right, even though the screen size has changed and the very large title is still directly centered and everything else is correctly in the place. Um, that's basically all I was going to show. Uh, I'm going to be adding more features in. Currently, there is no actual like function to any of these buttons. They're all just to show. Uh, obviously, I'm going to have a system where the UI links directly into the console so that you can have basically the UI just send console commands to you know, interact with the game world and whatnot. But uh, that's all for now, and thanks for watching. Subscribe if you are interested in the project because I upload videos pretty consistently.